Well, West Ham United um, are now top of the group. They finished top of the group in the Europa League after beating Freiburg pretty easily, to be quite honest with you. I think it was a bit of a surprise that um, it wasn't more of a competition than it, uh, than it turned out to be. The Freiburg fans behind me, I can't, don't know if you can see them. No, you can't. I can't show them. They're right there. They're right, right behind me by the scoreboard. They're still singing. <laughs> it's about 10 minutes after the game is finished. And they're still singing. You know, they had a good time. A bit, bit flat tonight in terms of um, the atmosphere. I was really surprised. Apparently, we only sold something like 40, 48,000 tickets or so. Um, and given the importance of the game, I'm surprised that it, uh, we didn't get more uh, fans uh, to the stadium. Look, the top tiers really were the areas where you saw there were gaps in the stadium, of course. The lower tiers uh, all around the, sta the stadium were fine. Um, but uh, it's the fans that usually come to only the important games in the top tiers of the stadium that uh, didn't show up. Uh, uh, but I bet you when it comes to March, and uh, we're our first game in the knockout stages. People are going to be begging for tickets to come to West Ham United for that game. It's a shame. Uh, look, I'm sure the many people have their reasons for not uh, going to a game, but uh, to actually not have uh, more than 50,000 fans here was quite disappointing. But anyway, uh, we did it. We, we won at a canter. It was a strong team that Moyes put out. Uh, probably a lot stronger than many people would have anticipated, but we did the job and it was quite easy. Freiburg offered nothing after smashing Olympiakos and Bakatopola 5-0 in both games. Um, they came here and they offered very, very little. Uh, but uh, West Ham United didn't even get out of second gear. I think we, um, we beat them quite easily. We didn't really have to do anything uh, much harder than we did. We started off well, we were moving the ball around quite freely. Um, we were sort of passing and moving, we actually played really well. We contained them and I was thinking to myself, as the game wore on, we're actually a really good cup team. Um, we seem to have a different mentality when it comes to playing in the cup competitions than we do when it comes, can you hear them? They're, st they're still singing. Um, we seem to have a completely different mentality when it comes to cup competitions. Um, we seem a lot more composed, a lot more at it. Um, I think if we wanted to step it up and score more goals, we could have done. But uh, to be quite honest with you, we didn't really have to do an awful lot to win this game. Two very well taken goals. Um, um, Kudus, who was great all night. Uh, scored a fantastic first goal. I think it was called for handball. We thought it was more a call for offside, but apparently they were looking for a handball, which didn't materialise. And then um, Edson Alvarez came back from his illness and he's got his first goal for West Ham. And it was a great little one-two with him and Jared Bowen. Uh, it was a really, really good uh, move and fantastic for Alvarez to uh, come back from his illness and, uh, and score the goal. West Ham United 2, FC, uh, not FC, SC Freiburg nil. We're through now to the last six. We were already through to the last 16, but uh, we now don't have to worry about having to play uh, a knockout game uh, in March against, uh, in February, against a team that's been knocked down from the Champions League, which I think is really good because um, when we beat Liverpool and we go through to the, and then we go through to the semi final and the final in February, we. Uh, haven't got a, con a fixture congestion. We're going to be able to do that without having to worry about uh, a European game. So I think that's a massive bonus as well. And also, winning the group uh, also um, enables us to make sure that uh, in, the in the next game, we've got the second, second leg um, here at, at um, the stadium. So there's an awful lot of benefits to have had for winning the group stage, uh, the group uh, tonight. What can you say about the game? It was, it was all right. We kind of did all right. We, we did what we had to do. It was a professional performance. Um, look, Freiburg looked as if they were quite happy being second, which is a bit odd, but maybe they relish playing a, a team uh, in the knockout stages in, uh, in February. Who knows? 
But all in all, um, I think we had some good performances. We were solid at the back, which makes a nice change. We kept a clean sheet. I think this is our third clean sheet uh, all season in all competitions, which is nice. Uh, we kept a clean sheet. We were very controlled in midfield. Ward Prowse looked like he was playing a lot further forward. It looked as if um, uh, we were playing a 4-1-4-1 formation. But interestingly, even though we were winning this game pretty easily, uh, when Edson Alvarez went off, it kind of looked like they had a few more gaps at the, in midfield than they did when Alvarez was on. He's absolutely crucial to us, isn't he? And we need to do something about that uh, in the January transfer window. We need a decent backup for Edson Alvarez, to be quite honest with you. Because when he doesn't play, we do look a little bit of a different team. But all in all, fantastic performance. Paqueta was doing all the tricks on the, on the pitch. Uh, Emerson alongside him were doing it. Yeah, they were all at it tonight. And it was also good to see a few other players came on. Fornells came on. It's all right, quite solid. Good to see Mubama come on. Danny Ings. Uh, you know, it's Danny Ings, I guess. Um, great. Uh, we didn't break a sweat. It means that we've got players that are going to be fresh for the game against Wolves on uh, Sunday here in the Premier League. It's going to be a very different game, isn't it? Uh, and of course, what people are going to be expecting is, because we won this quite easily, the <laughs> Wolves game is going to be an easy touch as well, which we know it won't be. Uh, but um, it's all about the cup competitions. And we go uh, into the Wolves game with confidence. And then, of course, we're going to have uh, Liverpool away next Wednesday, which we'll win. And we'll get through to the semi-finals of the League Cup as well. It's all good, isn't it? What could go wrong? You know, we're through to the last 16 of the Europa League. We'll be through to the semi-final of the, the League Cup uh, next week. Uh, we'll beat Wolves and we'll climb up the ladder. What could go wrong? <laughs>